Hello, welcome back to Intel Media, here you will find everything you need to know about new movies and series. Don't forget to subscribe and push that notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily videos. Now, as we approach the release date, let's look at everything we know about Craven the Hunter. What will the plot entail? Who has been confirmed to star? When and where audiences see the film once it is released? And what else would we know about Craven the Hunter? Aaron Taylor Johnson has an update for fans of Sony's Spider-Man universe. The actor, who stars as Craven the Hunter in Sony's upcoming movie, revealed more information about the film at the Senior Oak Conference, Variety reports. Taylor Johnson describes Craven as, one of Marvel's most iconic, notorious anti-heroes, Spider-Man's number one rival, a character he found particularly interesting because he doesn't have any superpowers. He's just a hunter, a human with conviction, an animal lover and a protector of the natural world. He's a very, very cool character, said Taylor Johnson. For the record, in Marvel Comics, Craven does have some superhuman abilities from an herbal concoction he consumes, but words out on whether the movie keeps this touch. Additionally, he revealed that, unlike many Marvel movies, this one was shot entirely on location. Now to be clear, Craven the Hunter is not part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Instead, the film belongs to the same world as Venom and Morbius, a collection of Spider-Man-related Marvel characters that Sony has the rights for. Alongside Taylor Johnson, Craven the Hunter will star West Side Story's Ariana Debus as Calypso, a voodoo priestess and Craven's love interest. Craven the Hunter was considered for film appearances several times before Sony became interested in a standalone film for the character, as part of their new shared universe, in 2017. Aaron Taylor Johnson recently opened up about his experience working on Craven the Hunter. While promoting his upcoming role in Bullet Train, where he stars alongside Brad Pitt, Brian Tyree Henry, Logan Lerman, and Karen Fukuhara, Taylor Johnson provided some new information about Sony's adaptation of the Spider-Man anti-hero. Craven the Hunter is expected to be theatrically released by Sony Pictures in the United States on January 13, 2023. Notably, Taylor Johnson signed on to portray Craven in multiple films, leaving the doors open for a sequel if this film does well with audiences. Part of Craven's history is that he was a big game hunter in Africa. However, Craven is also more than merely human, as he comes into enhanced abilities by consuming an herbal potion often concocted by Calypso. The potion grants Craven enhanced strength and speed, in addition to improved sight, agility, and stamina. In this form, Craven is more dangerous than the large cats he once hunted. Taylor Johnson's descriptions of Craven as an animal lover and human with conviction are sight differentiations of what Craven is often known to be. Taylor Johnson isn't the only member of Craven the Hunter with previous Marvel experience, as screenwriters Art Markham and Matt Halloway previously penned the script for Iron Man. Markham and Halloway also penned the script for the action packed film Uncharted, starring Spider Man's Tom Holland. Fellow Craven the Hunter screenwriter Richard Wink has written his fair share of action, penning the screenplays for The Equalizer. How Chander and Taylor Johnson will tap into the heart of Craven's story to paint him in a more heroic light will be an intriguing addition to the notorious Spider-Man anti-hero. At this point, the only cast member with a confirmed role is Craven himself. Actor Aaron Taylor Johnson is set to take on the role of the iconic Hunter. Before Johnson, Sony previously approached such big names as Brad Pitt, Adam Driver, John David Washington, and Keanu Reeves for the titular role. While other cast members have been announced without confirmed roles, most of them have rumors and speculations surrounding who they may potentially play. In addition to Taylor Johnson, Sony cast Christopher Abbott as the main villain. Sources have said that Abbott's villain is the foreigner, but nothing is confirmed. Alessandro Nivola will be portraying an additional, unknown villain alongside Abbott. Russell Crowe has also joined the cast in an undisclosed role. With rumors that most of the primary cast will star as members of Craven's family, Crowe's character is believed to be Craven's father. While we do not yet have any confirmed plot details, there is speculation about what we might see. Though Spider-Man was Craven's most common enemy in the comic books, he likely will not appear due to the deal with the MCU. Screenwriter Richard Wenk was tasked with finding a different character for Craven to hunt to compensate for the lack of Spider-Man. According to Wenk, Sony intends to adapt the comic book series Craven's Last Hunt plot, though it was unknown if that adaptation would come in this film or a future one. In the comic book series Craven's Last Hunt, spoiler alert, Craven seemingly kills Spider-Man and takes his identity. Craven captures Vermin in time for Spider-Man to revive and return to fight. Instead of fighting Spider-Man himself, 
Craven pits Vermin against him. Craven stops Vermin before he kills Spider-Man before retiring from his days as a hunter and committing suicide. Regarded as one of the greatest Spider-Man stories, the comic could likely be hugely successful as a film adaptation if Sony could secure the rights to Spider-Man for this film or perhaps feature another, alternate universe, version of the character. According to Screen Rant, Holland was not yet ready to say goodbye to Spider-Man and wanted to continue his story in the Sony world. The MCU soon reversed course and brought Spider-Man back into the fold, though the merging of the two universes was confirmed in the end credits of Venom, Let There Be Carnage. With Sony now linked to the MCU, it is still possible that we could see Holland pop up as Peter Parker in some form, though all that audiences can do now is wait and speculate.